Hey Commanders, my name is Anais and I'm a senior QA tester here at Sparky Pants Studios. It's my responsibility to update the patch notes and so we're going to start doing these videos where we basically run you through the big points of each note. So let's get started for our most recent update. First, we're releasing a new map. Styx is a map that is different from our previous maps where players would spawn on opposite sides. On this map, players actually spawn on the same side and so it's better to go for aggressive plays because players are actually going to be sharing vision towers as well as hives. There's also some different things uh, compared to our other maps. For instance, Styx only has three vision towers instead of four, and there's only one boss pit instead of two. So you really have to be aggressive and go ahead and try to get those things before your opponents do. In addition to the new map, we've added a new pilot class, Snipers, and one pilot to go with it, Lynx. Basically, you can think of Lynx as a glass cannon. She does a ton of damage from far away, but she has a really small HP pool, so you have to be careful how you play her because you don't want to get caught out. Lynx has a base health of 550 HP, and her base DPS is 105. Lynx's trait gives her bonus damage when no enemies are near her. Her special move, Cat and Mouse, tracks a single target anywhere on the map, even if they're cloaked. Her default weapon is Braille Blaster, and basically what she does is it's a line shot, and she does a ton of damage, and it knocks all enemies back. But you have to keep in mind that this knockback won't work on uplinking enemies, so you have to use it wisely. Her default body slot is Camouflage Generator, and basically what it does is it cloaks the sniper a short time after they've been out of combat. It's a level 2 unlock though, so you have to be careful for what you're doing until you get to level 2. Lastly for her default gear is her utility gear, Turbo Jets. That's right your sniper can actually turn into a jet and fly around the map, including across chasms. You know, if you use it in conjunction with camouflage generator, you can totally use it for those aggressive plays where you fly across the map and jump in on the enemy unexpected. In addition to the new sniper gear, we've also released some new sniper software to go along with them. One instance of this is Failsafe Cloak, and basically what it does, it works kind of similar to Logic Rerouter, but instead of it blocking one stun and then going on a cooldown, basically what it does is it cloaks the sniper whenever they're stunned. So it gives you that extra chance to hopefully hide and get away in case you get caught out. We've also put some more additions into your player profile page. so You can get an even clearer sense of your progression and what you're really working for. One of the things that we've added to the player profile is the rewards timeline. And basically what this page does is it details out all of the things that you're going to get per level and so it'll show your levels like these are the ones you claimed and these are the ones that are coming up and it will show you all the rewards you're going to get whether it be gear, jovians, anything for that level, even mode unlocks. We've also added the collections tab which is a really handy place where you can see all of the gear, pilots, and blueprints and vision towers that you've collected and that includes the amount of gear that you have for each piece, as well as the blueprints, if you have it or not. We know this was a pretty big patch, so you can read the detailed patch notes on either our Steam page or our Sparky Pants blog. Links can be found in the description below. We're going to try to make these videos weekly, so stay tuned.